Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn about to format underscore date time functions. Um, so often we need to format uh, the date and time according to our requirement. Maybe we want to create a report, export to Excel and all that. And we would like to uh, export uh, that uh, date time specific format. So this uh, you know, function is going to help us uh, in that scenario. Let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, here uh, what we have, uh, we have a customer table and in customer table we have some data. So right here, if you see, uh, let me uh, execute this query, and I have one column called hire date, and uh, you can see how this is year, month, and uh, then uh, you have days uh, here, and uh, then uh, some uh, specific time is right there. Okay, now, but if you wanna uh, format that according to different formats, you can do that. So if I just uh, select this table name and execute, uh, this is gonna return me all the records uh, from uh, with all the columns. Uh, now with the extend, uh, what will happen uh, uh, you can uh, further add more columns to it uh, so we would like to add column let's say this one sample format one so in this case I created this column and uh, I'm saying format underscore date time and higher date column use this uh, value and the uh, format into this way so y dash m dash m dash d right so if I will execute this uh, what's gonna happen uh, it's gonna return me all the columns what are in the table then create a new column called sample format one and format the higher data in this uh, format. Uh, so you see right there 2005 and I just wanted to do year only one uh, right there. See this guy? So that, that's the format I wanted. So that's how it is uh, showing me right there. Now if I want to uh, format in YYMMDD that's uh, possible as well. So let's execute this part of it. Now we have uh, this uh, year, month and day in two digits. Uh, now what we can do here, we can go to the three ones and four ones, whatever we want. So this is a full year and colon. See right there, I have a, instead of a dash, I use the colon here. So you can use, a, you know, your, according to your choice, a colon or dash. So you see right there, that's the format to brought. Now also I can get the hour, minute and second. So let's execute the whole thing and play with it. So see right there, there is a time now. So with the using the format underscore date time function, you can format your date time according to the need, what, it, what you want. There are a lot more different patterns there. You can search on the internet or I will put a link in the description as well. So you can use this function with different options to get the date time in your specific format the way you want. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.